Using Interactive DiffCalc, uh, this application only turned up in version operating system 2 uh, and is used for exploring or sort of investigating the relationship between a function. So let's enter one here as x squared and its derivatives. So um, once we've put in a function we want to explore, we tap onto the tangent uh, tab at the top. And um, what's showing here is in blue is the original function. In green is the tangent to the function at the point E. Uh, and then there's another point D on the curve. And you can see up here these are the X coordinates of D and E. And here are the Y coordinates. And um, class pads calculating the slope of the sequence, the orange line that runs through the two points D and E. Now we can select either D or E. Uh, for our point. Now what I want to do is move D closer to E. So I'm going to tap onto D which puts the cursor there and then using the um, cursor keys over here I'm going to tap and as D gets closer and closer to E you can see what's happening here that the uh, secant is getting closer and closer to the tangent. Uh, so there's kind of one exploration that we can do. Um, now let's tap onto the derivative tab. Here again we've got the original function in blue and um, what we can do is create a table of values for the various x coordinates along the curve and the slope at that particular point. So what I'm going to do is um, we can either tap execute on the uh, keypad which will put in the slope and the x coordinate of the cursor at its current point and then tap right, maybe we'll go over to 0 0.5 and tap execute again or we can use this kind of on-screen cursor here so let's do that. Notice that at the same time um, class pads plotting in red here these points. Now we'll tap right a few more times so that we get to where x is 1 so I'm just looking at the bottom of the screen here and um, let's record that point. So I'll tap on the little circle in the middle and it's recorded that point. So you've got the choice, control things with the on-screen cursor or the buttons on the uh, um, class pad down here. So let's go over a bit more, maybe to where x is 1.5, tap OK. And maybe one more point where x is 2 and tap to store that. Now it looks like uh, there's a bit of a relationship here between the x's and the slopes. So if we want to have a guess at what we is, think it is, and I think the slope looks like it's twice the x-coordinate, we tap onto this icon just underneath calc, and it says make a prediction. So we're going for 2x, and we'll say OK. And class pads drawn in our line in red through the points, and it looks like we've done a pretty good job. If we weren't sure, there are various regression models that we can choose from here, um, a linear, quadratic, and so on. Um, let's just tap it and try it. So we'll choose the, and you can see class pads um, fitted an orange line through the points there. Uh, so um, that looks pretty good. And we could tap back to the function line here, and you can see here's the one that we put in. And here's the one that ClassPad put in, in orange. So ours was in red, ClassPad in orange. Um, and there it is. Now the last tab, D-Trace. This enables us through use of this button up the uh, end here. We can either have the function and uh, its first derivative. Here it says y2 is y1 dashed. Or the next one, if we toggle through, is the first derivative and the second derivative. Or we can tap through again and have all three displayed, the function, the first derivative, and the second derivative. Now, let's just go back to the basic one here. And as we tap um, right or left with the cursor key here, so let's go left a bit, what's happening is the orange line is just um, the vertical line saying when x is uh, negative 1 in the table here. Uh, the value of the function is 1, which is this red dot, and the value of the derivative is negative 2, which is this one here. So it's another way of exploring the values of the function and its um, derivative, or if you had it turned on, the second derivative as well. Um, and that's basically a quick run through interactive diff calc.